What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to make an entire ClickFunnels sales funnel uh, from landing page to order confirmation page. So this is especially useful if you have uh, one-time offers, one-time upsells and downsells. And this may get confusing if you're just starting out um, because if you have say five upsell and five downsell offers, you're thinking, how do I connect them all? How do I make it so that if people say yes to the upsell, they're taking to the next upsell, or if they say no, they're taking to the downsell, all that stuff. So I'll show you here how to set everything up, all right? Um, I'll, I'll try to make it as simplified and as simple as possible. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to add a new funnel, and let's say sell your product, and let's say sales funnel, right? So we'll just use that as a template. We're going to add stuff to it later. And let's say uh, complete OTO funnel. Compete, complete, oops. All right, so we have here our pages, our, our steps, right? The landing page, the sales page, order form, order confirmation, thank you page. Now the way we should have it is like this. So here's here would be the proper kind of way to set it up. You will start off with your landing page, then a thank you page if you want a thank you page. If not, go straight to the sales page followed by the order form page. This is where they would put their credit card information and then they're presented with an upsell. So the cool thing about these guys are, if they order this product, then when they say yes to your upsell or to your downsell, they immediately buy it, it's bought. So they click yes, it's done, it's added to their cart, it's been charged, right? They don't have to put in their information again, it's a one-time uh, offer, one-time upsell. Uh, and then same with the downsell, and then your order confirmation page. So this is kind of our basic setup. This is what we'll do first. I'll go over everything you need and kind of how to connect everything. And then we'll go over some variations if you have additional um, upsell pages, additional downsell pages, all that stuff. So let's go here. Um, so um, one more thing you, you need to keep in mind is if you are creating the pages, so for example, this is your landing page, this is your thank you page, your sales page, your order page, you need to make sure you're using the proper template from here. So if, if this was my sales page, I would have to go and use a sales page template. I can't use a landing page template. Same with my one-time offer, uh, one-time upsell or downsell, I would have to use these ones, okay? I can't use my sales page as my one-time upsell. Um, that's because the, the ClickFunnels system is set up this way so that everything connects together and matches. So make sure you do it like that. Now, if you have a phenomenal and amazing email opt-in template, you saved it as a template, it's so great. And you want to use that for your sales page or for your one-time offer page. What you can do now, ClickFunnels added a feature where you can save your sections of any template. So just save it and then you can open it through a new page. So suppose I have a phenomenal email opt-in. I'll save every single section from there. I'll go into my sales page and I'll select select template for this one. And then what I'll do is I'll be able to open the section that I've saved. So if I go here and I, and I go here to manage section or sorry, add section, uh, I should see my sections here. So these are some of the sections that I've saved from other pages. And, and you know, I named them section one, section two, section three, section four, section five. And all you do is you just put it there, okay? So that's how you would do it. That's it, pretty simple. Anyway, back to the task at hand. So let me create uh, what we've shown in the PowerPoint. I'll create my upsell one and my upsell two pages to start off. And okay, so for this one, for my upsell, I need to make sure it's a one click upsell. And like I said, what you can do is you can just copy paste and then you can save that as a template so that you don't have to keep doing that, right? Uh, and then let me make a downsell one. Now I'm making one because I will show you if you have more than one, I think we'll do two or three uh, different upsells just to show you what you should be doing. And then we need to put these right after the order form, okay? That is important. Yes, down sell. Yes, no problem. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have the thing, like everything set up. We went from uh, landing page straight to sales page in this case, then order form, upsell, down sell, order, and then the thank you for order confirmation. We can do that. So first thing we'll need to do is let's create our product. So I'm going to go to uh, upsell, or you, you can go to sales page as well. And no, no, not, not sales page, upsell page. And we'll need to create our product here. So this is assuming you are already integrated with one of the payment methods like Stripe. I'm not, so I'll just show you um, 
roughly what it's going to look like. And I'll just use, you know, Envision Software on support for this. So let's say product A. And then we can put an amount here, let's say 500 bucks. So this price display override is basically a custom field that allows you to say whatever you want to on your order confirmation page. So the order confirmation page is dynamically updated. Um, so if you bought three items that are worth 100, 200, 300 bucks, that's what's going to show in the order confirmation page, assuming you put it in here, right? So this field allows you to customize that. And instead of saying 100 bucks, you can say maybe, hey, here's your 50% off. So it's 100 bucks because it's 50% off, right? Just a little gentle reminder to the people that maybe whatever you promise them in the landing page is actually there. So you can say, you know, 20% uh, discount, 500 bucks. And that's what's going to show, okay? Um, and then for this bump, so every order page has a little kind of bump, which is an additional section uh, they can use. So let me just create that and I'll actually, I'll just show you what you can do on the order form page. So on this order form page, what you can do is you can actually sell another product. So you can create this thing called a bump. Uh, you can only do one. And what that does is along with their purchase, it gives them the option to buy something else. Kind of like you may have seen if you signed up for ClickFunnels, they have this little option, hey, add, add funnel hacks or whatever. And here I'll show you what it's gonna look like. So there's gonna be a order bump right there. And it's gonna say like that, right? And you, you can say whatever you want to. Um, so in order for this to work, you do need to indicate on that page where we're just in a second ago that this order is associated with a bump order, right? And then here you would just you would just uh, fill it all in and you know one time offer. Uh, that's where you would put it. Okay, so that's how you would make that part. I guess I'll save it. Okay, so now let's go into the actual upsell and downsell. Uh, let me just create the downsell template real quick. So I have to. So again, I'll use one of these given templates. So now that we've got everything set up, we've got our product, right? We've got one product so far. We may need to come back in there and make a few more, uh, or I'll just make some and pause the video. But um, so now that we've done that, let me go to the uh, upsell page. So as you can see here, here's the format. So what we want to do here, right? This is a very simple funnel. What we want to do here is if people say yes to our upsell, we want them to go straight to the order confirmation page. And if they say no, we want them to go to the downsell page and have an opportunity to buy a, maybe a cheaper product with less features, but still cheaper, right? So money's not a concern. Uh, and then if they say yes here, they're taken to the order confirmation. And if they say no here, they're taken to the order confirmation. So how do we do that? So let's go into edit page and I'll show you how. <clears throat> so this is why this was important for us to set a product because when we go here to settings and we say on set action for the button, right? We'll need two buttons on each OTO page. We'll need one for a yes, add, or, or go to the next upsell page and one for no, I'm not interested. So over here, it'll say one click upsell product A. If you don't have a product, it's not going to say that. It'll say something like no product, uh, not available to, to sell. So you don't want that. Make sure you add a product so, it's, so that it gets added to your order confirmation page. So uh, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna say yes, definitely one click upsell product A. That's what we want. That was our product for 500 bucks. Now for no thanks, I don't need this now. What they've done is they put a little hyperlink here and they said no link. So if you don't, for whatever reason, see those options or you're using editor one, what you can do is instead of, you know, selecting this um, option that's already given to you, just say yes link. So in here it says no link. What you would do there is you would just say yes link. Okay, that's all. That's what you would do. You would in case you don't have the option to just do it right away. So that's basically how this will work. So we've set up this page properly now. Everything works here. If they say download now, they immediately get that thing added to their cart. It'll show up on the order confirmation. If they say no here, then it, it's, it still takes them to the, sorry, no, then it, then it would take them to the downsell page here, right? So that's why this is the no link. It'll take them to the downsell page. So let's just save that. And let's go back. So let's go to the downsell page now. So in this case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we would put the exact same things as we did for the previous page. So we would still put yes link and no link. But in this case, they're still taken to the order confirmation page unless we have more uh, OTO pages, which is what we'll do next. So over here, you know, what we would have to do is we would have to actually create a, yeah, so no product setup. So we would have to create a different product because obviously this isn't product A, they just said no. So this is what it will say if we don't have a product set up. So make sure you have another product of maybe cheaper cheaper price, right? And it, it would show up here, so product B. So um, yeah, and then, and then over here, it'll say, um, 
the link here says no link. So what I'll actually do is let me just quickly pause the video uh, and I'll be right back and I will create maybe a few other products for you guys so that we can we can make this easier, okay? So I'll be right back. All right, so I've added some products for this downsell page. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you will need to add separate products for every single OTO page. It's not like you, you can add a bunch of products and then uh, just add the OTO pages. You will need to add different products for different OTO page, okay? So I've added two products for specifically the downsell, for this downsell page. So now when I went here, uh, when I click on set action, I have these two options. I've added two products. So I've added one click upsell product A, one click upsell product B. Uh, so actually, if you, now the limit is two, but if you have, so I'll add another button. If you have two different things you're saying, say maybe, hey, uh, you know, try out this cheaper product and then maybe you give them two options. So you're not limiting them to only yes. You're If you want to give them options, you can say, you know, this one set action, uh, one click upsell product B. Uh, alternatively, again, if you're using version one, you can say yes, uh, hashtag yes dash link two. This this would be link two, okay, which is what it says here, yes link two, okay? And this is yes link one, or just, just don't even put the one, just say yes link. Um, so, so that's how this would work here. And then obviously here again, you would say no, right? You would say no link, saying no, I'm not interested. So let me just save that. Um, let me go back. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this part, right? We've done that. Uh, so now what, what we can do is we can add additional upsell or downsell products and let's see what that's going to look like. So I'm just going to add new step. Let's say upsell two. I'll create funnel step. And I'll pick a template. Again, I need to go to OTO and click template. All right, and as you can see here, uh, all kind of all our products have been deleted, so we need to add new products here. Okay, so that's fine, and I'll move this up here, and I'll add one more step down cell two, and I'll put this down here. Up cell. Okay, so now we have all this, okay? So we would still need to go in there and change the products on all of these guys, okay? For downsell two, downsell one, upsell, um, all of them. But let me show you what kind of uh, the bird's eye view of what we want to have here. So this actually is not the best setup for this. In fact, this isn't really the right setup for this, okay? And let me tell you why. So after people buy, they're taken to this upsell page, okay? If they say yes link, so they're, they want to buy the product, they're taken to this next upsell page here. If they say yes, they're taken to the order confirmation page. No problem there, everything's perfect. Now here's the, the problem and why we need to rearrange this a little bit and I'll tell you how in a second. If they say no here, they skip upsell two and they're taken straight to downsell one. Now here's the problem. No matter what they say in this case to downsell one, whether they say yes, or whether they say, no, I'm not interested, they're taken to the order confirmation page. But what if, what if they want downsell two? Okay, so the proper way to do this would be to actually move one of them up top. And now what this is going to do is if they, if, if they say no here, they're taken to the downsell page. If they say yes to the downsell page, they're taken to this upsell page. And then the process repeats. And you do the exact same thing over and over and over again. Uh, depending on how many upsell or downsell offers you have. So we would need to put it in kind of an upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell format just because of this reason. Because if they say no here, they're taken straight to this page. If you have a bunch of downsell offers kind of together following each other, that's useless. That That's not going to do anything for you because they'll just hit that first downsell page you have there and then go straight to the order confirmation no matter what they say. So um, let me just pause the video real quick and I will add a few more uh, pages just to show you what it's going to look like. All right, welcome back. So I've added, uh, as, as, as you can see, two more additional upsell, downsell pages. So I've put them in this upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell, upsell, downsell format. So now what's going to happen is if people say yes to this upsell, they are taken to this upsell too. Right? And again, the way they say yes is I'm not going to go back in there and, and, and show you on every single page, but it's the same thing on every page. You just select that product that you input, so that you know product A 
or you would type in hash, um, hashtag yes dash link one or just yes dash link, okay? And if they say yes to that button on which you put that um, co uh, command for, it would go to this next one. If they say yes here, it goes to the next one. If they say yes here, order confirmation. And that, my friends, is a funnel, okay? Uh, now, if they're on this uh, upsell one page and they say no, so again, no link, and they go to this downsell page, um, so if, right, because they said no, they'll go here. If they say no here, then they're taken straight to the order confirmation page. If they say yes, they still have another chance, they're taken to the upsell two page. If they say yes to upsell two, upsell three, upsell four. Uh, if they say no to upsell two, they're taken to downsell two. And then from downsell to, again, if they say no, they're taken to order confirmation page. If to the downsell they say yes, they're taken to upsell three, okay? So just some options that are available for you. This is pretty much how you would set up this entire sales funnel and how you can maximize the income you can generate from your visitors to your landing page, right? Look at all these opportunities for, for you to generate money, right? Uh, so that's about it. I, I hope this was kind of helpful for you to, to clear things up and how to put all this uh, in place. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.